is Fred from Silicon Technologies and on this video I'm doing an unboxing for the Aircube uh, Papper set without hood. Uh, the reason why we're offering these, uh, this Aircube Papper without the hood is because some doctors actually have a preference to use uh, a full mask or a half mask respirator instead of a, a hood because of, I, I don't know, for some, uh, uh, you know, uh, comfort level or something, they, they prefer to use full hoods or uh, half masks. So we came up with a set for, uh, for that uh, primary purpose. So uh, when you buy the Aircube uh, without hood, you're going to get a, 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 a black box like this and it would contain the sticker on one side. And on the other side, you're going to see a, stick, uh, a sticker with a QR code and a serial number. Uh, please take note of the serial number and the QR code because uh, it is associated with your set. So every, every unit that we sell to different customers have a particular serial number that it's associated to. So uh, for after-sales support, you have to take note of that. All right. So when you unbox it, the first thing that you're going to notice is really the the, the hose assembly, uh, that's one of the things. So you actually have, uh, we actually have three choices, right? Uh, depending on the type of uh, full mask or half mask uh, model that you have, we actually have an adapter hose assembly for uh, the uh, Honeywell. The Honeywell also contains the, it also contains the, uh, uh, the cap on the other side. So uh, an example of the Honeywell mask is this one. So this Honeywell mask goes with the, uh, uh, the hose uh, adapter for the Honeywell with the, the cap. Aside from the Honeywell, we also have another one which is for uh, Shigematsu. So the Shigematsu model also comes again with a cap on the other side. So this is an example of a Shigematsu, ma ma Shigematsu mask with the hose uh, adapter assembly and the cap. And uh, finally, the most common of all uh, full half mask is the one from 3M. So what we have right now is a uh, 3M6800 full mask. Uh, this is actually a, a common a full mask used by different doctors in different hospitals. So we have this one, which also includes the, the cap on one side as well. So, so again, just FYI, we do not uh, sell the full mask and the half mask. Uh, all all uh, we sell is really the host assembly and adapter for the different, ver uh, different brands that you're using. Uh, to make it into a powered respirator. Okay, uh, then what else comes from it? So, so aside from the hose and the, uh, the cap, uh, it comes with a belt, of course, a nylon quick-release uh, anodized belt. And then it also comes with a, uh, an airflow tester. Uh, it also comes with uh, the power pack together with the USB-C cable. So let me open this plastic. So the power pack, which includes the uh, belt clip uh, and uh, which also includes the uh, USB to USB-C cable, which is a 0.5 meter uh, long USB-C cable and the corresponding 18 watt uh, fast charger. Okay, uh, and of course, uh, it comes on top of the, uh, the, so the set actually automatically comes with two uh, certified uh, H13 rated uh, corrugated HEPA filter that's 99.97% filtration with 0.3 micron uh, density. So it comes with two uh, sets of filters. So one is the one already uh, connected to the, or installed on your air cube and another extra one. So it, it's, uh, it's part of this pack. So if you can see if I, uh, I remove it, so as you can see, there's a gasket, a black gasket on one side, and the other side is just a plain white uh, carton. So, but it's uh, it's a certified HEPA filter. So, uh, the the lifeblood of the uh, Papper or AirCube uh, filter system is really the, the HEPA filter. So, uh, this is the one thing that we made sure of uh, is certified. Uh, on another note, we also have, uh, a because of demand of certain doctors, we actually came up with also an adapter. Uh, this, this adapter actually works with um, uh, certain customers that prefer to use a 3M helmet. Uh, because of course, what we only have is a, uh, a fabric type of uh, hood. So for certain doc doctors that prefer uh, to use a helmet, type of hood uh, or, hel or helmet 3M, uh, we came up with an adapter. But uh, this adapter will only work with a 3M hose as well. So when you buy the uh, 3M helmet, uh, which is 
M200, one of the models is an M200, uh, you have to buy the, the hose from 3M as well. Then you could use our adapter to hook it up to our air cube. And of course, lastly is our uh, air cube uh, uh, popper, right? So, and of course the air cube popper comes automatically with a, uh, a cover or a cap. Uh, so that when you're do it, when you're using it for uh, you know cleaning or wipe downs with alcohol or something, at least you could cover it so that no dust or particles will go into your uh, air cube. Oh, one more thing is that uh, there's also an adapter uh, which you have to use with the air cube uh, popper. So uh, this actually uh, goes to the, uh, with this one. So there's a cap. When you remove the cap. Before hooking, hooking up to the hose, you actually have to use the adapter first. So, so this one. So now that you've seen all of the, 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 the components of the uh, air cube without a uh, hood set, uh, and as I mentioned, it, it's uh, either of the three options, whether it be a Honeywell, a Shigematsu, or a 3M mask. And of course, it also comes with an option if you want to add uh, the, the 3M adapter for the VersaFlow. But basically, uh, with this set, uh, you can choose between, again, Honeywell, uh, Shigematsu, or 3M, uh, either of those three. But these things are all part of it. It comes with this one, uh, the airflow tester, the belt, the power pack, the, of course, the, uh, the air cube, the extra filter, uh, the, and the USB-C cable and uh, uh, charger, right? Let, let me start off by talking about the, the Honeywell first. So we have the, the hose connector, uh, the adapter and the, the hose assembly uh, for the Honeywell. So the Honeywell works a bit different compared to the 3M and the Shigematsu because it uh, uses a screw type of connector instead of a quick release type of connector. So uh, the way to use it basically is that normally when you use a full mass, there ha uh, there's usually two connectors. Uh, sometimes you connect two different uh, uh, HEPA filters. So naturally we don't need one side, so you could actually use a, a, a cover or a cap on one side. Let's say in this case, I'll, I'll use the, the one on the left. So I'll hook it up over here. And then on the other side, the holes that you have, uh, there's one that's straight and then the other one is like a 90 degree connector. Then there's an adapter that you have to remove from this part. So actually the funny thing is that this looks very uh, similar to this one, but the difference here is that the connector for this one is actually a bit bigger. So the connector for this one is bigger than the connector for this one. So you have to make sure that the bigger one is used for the air cube itself. The smaller one, the smaller hole here with the screw, the thread is the one that's uh, going to be connected to the, uh, the full mask. That's it. And then naturally when you screw it here, so now you have the, the screw. Now when you screw it, you can adjust it to the, the, the angle that you want. So you can make it about, you can uh, in, uh, tilt it up or down, and then you just tighten it. That's basically it. Uh, for Shigematsu, uh, it, Shigematsu is very similar to 3M. It works on a quick release type of connector. So similarly, let me start off with this one, the cap. So on one side, you can hook it up. And on the other side, you could hook up this part. So there's three notches, so basically it depends on what angle you want. You could do it that way, of course, but it's not right. And you can just do it, you know, this way, I guess. So it depends on what angle, just make sure it locks, uh, locks properly. Lastly, uh, 3M, again, similar to uh, uh, Shigematsu, it works on a quick release type of setup or connector. So you can hook up the other one, and then on the other side, you just hook it up as well. Once it's all hooked up, uh, now we, we, you know, how to use the air cube itself. So uh, you, the first thing you have to do is basically you have a, a USB-C uh, to USB-C cable, uh, basically. And then uh, the power pack, just FYI, the power pack is a, a, a power bank, right? So you see two different uh, USB-A connectors. Then after the two USB-A connectors, you're gonna see a USB-C connector. That's where you connect the USB-C to USB-C cable there. Uh, by the way, you, you're also gonna use the same connector to charge your uh, power pack, which normally takes around six hours to charge, to fully charge. Then on the other side, you just hook it up to the USB-C cable on your air cube. 
and just just make sure that there's a power button here if in case it doesn't turn on automatically you can just press the power button now make sure this is one thing that's very critical you have to make sure that the light the LED lights are color blue or white depending on I guess I, I see it as white but it could it could be white could be blue but just make sure it's not color red right it has to be either blue or white right so if it's red, it means it's not working properly. And you, your fan, your, your air cube might not be blowing uh, with the proper speed or power. So if it's blue or white, then you turn it on. Then basically, whether you connect the adapter or you remove the adapter, it's the same thing, as long as you just make sure that the air, so if you, if you want to test the airflow, you just hook up the uh, airflow tester to this one. Again, whether you use the adapter or not, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you put it on, uh, just make sure it's covered completely. Then you just adjust it. Again, every time you exceed the line, so you, you see on the air, uh, airflow tester, there's a black line. Once you exceed the, the black line, it means that you've exceeded 250 liters per minute. Now, uh, based on standards for uh, poppers or powered air purifying respirators, the minimum is actually 170 liters per minute. So um, we made sure that it's really above that 170 liters per minute. Right? But uh, just FYI that since what we have right now is a, an air cube set without uh, the hood or you're using, the, uh, using it for the full or half mask, uh, normally you don't need to make, you don't need to, uh, make sure that the, the airflow is 250 liters or more. Because of course the volume inside your mask is a lot less compared to the volume if you're using it with a hood. Right, so uh, to be honest with you, even if you do not exceed the 150, the 170 liters, it's fine if you're using a full mask because your face is sealed anyway inside. So it's complete. You have full protection. Right. Um, anyway, so uh, first thing you have to do once it's running already, you have to make sure, of course, that there is a, a HEPA filter inside. When you look at the the louver, you're gonna see that there's a HEPA filter inside, which is similar to what I showed you a while ago. You're gonna see it inside. Uh, then after that, uh, you hook up the belt, basically. So let me turn it off first. Uh, and uh, when you look at the back of your air cube and your uh, power pack, you're gonna see that the belt clip also has kind of like a notch. Uh, this notch makes sure that, uh, ensures that the, uh, the nylon belt doesn't uh, come off of the, uh, the air cube or the power pack. So it's actually very critical that you have that notch there. And you have to make sure that the nylon belt uh, goes inside that notch so it's locked into place, more or less. So to, re to install it properly, just the, the best way to do it, the easiest way to do it, just remove it. It's easier to hook up the nylon belt to the power pack even without removing, but for the, uh, the air cube, it's actually easier to just remove it so that you don't damage the, uh, the belt clip. And of course, the nylon belt works like any other belt, so you just have to make sure it adjusts to your waist and just make sure it uh, fits snugly. Now that you've connected the nylon belt to both your power pack and your air cube, now I think you just have to wear it, right? So I've already adjusted the belt to my waistline, so it's, it already fits, uh, fits perfectly. Take note that we've specifically made the design of our air cube uh, to be separate from the power pack so that because when you're wearing it for several hours, like for example, if you're undergoing surgery or going through surgery uh, with you know a patient or something, you're wearing it for like eight hours, sometimes it gets uh, pretty heavy. So we purposely made it separate. So the power pack is separate from the air cube. Uh, so there's several ways that you could wear it, right? So typical poppers, you wear it at the back like this, right? Uh, but some doctors, uh, some of our doctors actually prefer to wear it uh, on either side of your uh, either side of your hip so that the, the weight is balanced properly. So we provide the USB-C cable that comes with the unit is uh, sufficient to be able to cover both uh, ends of the, uh, the air cube and the, uh, the power pack, right? So once it's connected, so uh, simple, right? So you just, you just put the, the hose here, the hose connector, it's a screw type, you just screw it properly. Now, of course, just take into consideration that when you're using a, a full mask uh, type of setup, a full mask or a half mask type setup, uh, the audibility is a lot less. So uh, just take note that that's, the, that's the, 
the, the problem with using a full mask or a half mask compared to a hood. A hood, you're more audible, but for a full mask or a half mask, uh, your voice gets even more muffled. Uh, so let me turn it on. So essentially you have a uh, kind of like an uh, air conditioning unit inside your full mask, right? Uh, again, so just, uh, just to add on top, I'm not gonna wear this anymore because you might not be able to hear me properly. Uh, but just to uh, add, if in case you want to use it, so we've specifically made our design or our, our, our air cube to be, uh, uh, what do you call this, versatile. So it could actually be used for the full mask, the hood version, and at the same time, uh, if you want to use, you could still use it with your 3M helmet, right? Uh, by using a, a, an adapter for that. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to visit our uh, Facebook page at SiliconPH. Uh, or you could visit our website, uh, uh, aircube.silicon.ph. That's it, and thank you.